it's time for weather and just like any year, Nebraska weather in 2018 was a mixed bag of sunshine, rain, snow and severe weather. And it's those days that will stick out in your mind whether you follow the weather or simply experience it. Nebraska Climate Director Dr. Martha Sholsky is in both categories. She stopped by to share what made this year unique. Yeah, well, we had a lot of variability this year, which is pretty typical for, for where we live in this part of the country. Um, we had record cold to start the year. And uh, January 1, uh, New Year's Day, a lot of locations were quite cold. Um, I think Concord, uh, they had a new record of 32 below zero wow. to start the year wow. off. So, <laughs> so pretty cold. Uh, we had a blizzard the third week uh, of January. So it was cold and snowy uh, as well. And uh, another thing that sticks out is April was second coldest on record for the state of Nebraska. We were running eight to 10 degrees Fahrenheit below normal for the whole month, which is mm. pretty significant. So a really cool April. Uh, we had a blizzard that happened around mid-month that dropped a couple of feet of snow in, uh, I believe, central portions of Nebraska, and that's during calving season. And so there were some, some impacts around the state in terms of, of calving. Um, and then we flipped the switch. The thermometer got turned up, and so May was fourth warmest. Uh, on record and that was about four to eight degrees warmer than normal around uh, for locations around the state so I think that dramatic flip between a really cold uh, April and a really warm uh, May uh, was another kind of significant event that stuck out uh, in my mind. Definitely so and you mentioned April and May as far as temperatures how did the averages this year compare to other years? Yeah so if we look year to date uh, most of the state is running about a one to two degrees cooler than normal so uh, month to month there's a lot of very as there always is, but over the year to date averages, we were running a bit cooler than normal uh, for much of Nebraska. And if we look at precipitation, a lot of the state is running in a surplus, um, five to 10 inches wetter than normal for portions of the state. But there are some pockets still of dryness um, in portions of eastern Nebraska, southeast, and in the panhandle. There's still some areas that are running a deficit, and that goes back um, two and even three years, those uh, trends in precipitation. There's wet areas, but there's there's also some pockets of dry areas as well. And severe weather, what stood out to you this year? Um, severe weather, probably some of the hail uh, events. It, it seemed like there was uh, was quite a bit of hail, the events that took place around the state. I believe in uh, June, there was some significant events and some high wind events. Uh, and I know there were some fields near, near Holdridge, Nebraska, where the corn would just look like somebody had just cut it in half, essentially. So, so around the state, um, that's kind of those agricultural impacts, those hail events certainly stuck out in my mind. Um, there was a flooding event in Omaha where I believe over a two-day period in August there was over eight inches of rain and there was certainly flooding impacts in and around the Omaha metro area. So that was another event that certainly stuck out. And looking down the line a little bit, any predictions as to what we could see for 2019? Well, um, we're currently we're in what's called an El, an El Nino watch. Uh, we're in neutral conditions, um, looking like we're trending toward an El Nino pattern. And typically what that means is um, the odds are tilted toward a warmer than normal winter, December, January, February. And if we look at uh, precipitation patterns, typically it's wetter than normal to our south and then drier than normal to our north. And unfortunately, Nebraska lies in a zone where there's not um, um, there's not a lot of confidence in terms of, or there's not a significant direction that, that we may uh, go. Sure, either and it's, way, yeah. Either way, um, and it's expected to be a weak El Nino, so, um, so there are probably other signals, other things going on in the atmosphere that could act to, um, you know, push our temperature and precipitation in, in a different direction. But overall, we could expect warmer than normal for the three-month period, but that's not to say that we won't get cold. It'll still be winter. We'll have variability and we'll have, have some cold weather.